Hi everyone, welcome back. Okay, so I am here to talk about my fountain pen collection. Somebody did ask me what pens I have in my collection and this is it. I keep everything in my superior labor pen roll when I'm not using it. I quite often use this as a carrying case for them when I am and then whatever I'm not using kind of sits in a dish on my desk. And I'm just going to start from left to right and go from there. In this uh, leather pen case, which somebody did ask me where I got this, I got it in a grab bag at the Kinokuniya bookstore in Seattle. So I actually don't know what brand it is. There's really no uh, branding on it, um, but there are lots of which you know, different types of cases that you can get uh, all over the internet. But in this case, I keep my Kavaku Lilliput fountain pen. It's very sleek, uh, lovely weight to it. I got it in brass to match the brass accessories on my desk. And uh, it's very nice. It's very sleek, very small, but it fits my hand very nicely uh, just because I have small hands. I could only get this in a fine nib and I believe I have it inked up so I could probably do like a quick little ink test for you. So you can see it's just kind of like a fine nib. Very smooth on Tomoe River paper. It flows nicely and I've heard some people say you could get a converter for it, maybe, but I currently just have um, one of the Kaveku cartridges in there, and then what I can do is once I'm done with it, I can fill it up with my own ink. But it ages nicely. You can kind of see it's developing a nice little patina. I don't use it as often as I'd like. I think mostly because it's so small and I'm not a person who normally uses fine nibs and the reason why i have it in the case is because i don't want to lose it uh, because i didn't get, get the clip for it and then this one is a disposable one it's one that i got at the kinokuniya bookstore as well it's a pilot petite one this is a great little extremely affordable fountain pen that uses um is it a snap or a pull yeah, um, that uses disposable cartridges that you can actually refill with uh, your own inks as well. Um, the pen itself is really affordable. I think it was maybe under $5 or something. And then the ink cartridges come in like packs of four, I think, which are like $2 a piece. I mean, they're very affordable. This is a great pen. It's very small, very portable. It's plastic, so it's very lightweight. I actually really enjoy using this pen. It's so inexpensive, but it performs so well. And I would highly recommend this, especially if you're a beginner fountain pen user. If you don't want to invest the money into a really nice one because you're not sure about a fountain pen or you're just still starting out and testing out what kinds you like, I would highly recommend a Pilot Petite. And they come in different colors. I just got the one in black. So lots of different options there. Very affordable, very uh, easy for beginner fountain pen users. I got an Eco Twisby, or a Twisby Eco fountain pen, and this is in a broad nib. And this actually has a built-in converter, which you actually can fill using the piston right here. And I actually have to refill it because I didn't tighten it well enough. So it does, when you open it up to clean it out, you do have to tighten it in a certain way in order for the ink to flow nicely. But this is a broad nib. And this one is one of my favorite favorite pens. So smooth and it's got a nice, 
it's a lighter weight pen, but there's still a bit of heft to it just because it is a wider sort of, I guess, barrel. Um, one of the downsides is that I don't think this actually snaps closed, um, so you can't really have that on it. So you kind of have to keep this on the desk or in your hand while you're writing. But um, I really enjoy this pen. I've got it in clear with the black cap and you'll be able to see the ink that you fill it with. Very nice pen. And then I have a Kaveku Sport. This is actually one of my very first nicer fountain pens. I got it in this beautiful green. The clip doesn't come with it. You do have to buy that separately. And the thing with this is, is the converter is so small, so you're not really able to hold a lot of ink in it. And for me, I journal so much that I did have to find myself filling this quite often. Um, but it's still a really nice pen. In the beginning of using this, the nib was so finicky, and I've heard this quite often from other Kaveku fountain pen users is depending on the type of pen that you have, depending on the, you know, the, the particular pen that you've gotten, sometimes the nib can skip when you write, sometimes it flows really nicely depending on the type of ink, and I think after so many years of having it, I've finally gotten it to write pretty well on paper without it skipping, and it's nothing to do with it being a bad nib necessarily. I th just think that that's just kind of the personality of the pen. It could be different for other people, but I have heard that from uh, some Kaveku Sport users um, that that can be the case for them. And this is kind of like the mid-range price point pen, still very affordable, like on the lower end of like nice pens, which is really nice. Um, and it just looks really sleek. It looks really nice. It looks good with my, you know, brown leather products. So I, I do enjoy the aesthetic of that one and it has worked out really well with me. The next one is a, and I wrote this down, a Jinhao X750 in ivory white in a medium nib. This is, I've had this for a few months now. I actually haven't used it yet and it actually looked much whiter on the photo when I bought it. Um, this isn't my first Jin Hao. I've actually had several. When I first started out in using fountain pens, I bought like two or three Jin Hao pens, but I they've long been donated because I didn't like them. I got them in fine nib um, because that seemed to be the popular choice of nib for a lot of people when I was researching fountain pens. And since then, I have found that I do not like fine nibs at all. And, you know, I hope those fountain pens have found good homes. They work really well. Jin Hao is a great brand. Um, I buy them off Amazon. They're extremely affordable with so many different designs, nib uh, types. And um, they always come with a built-in converter so that you can pull out and fill. So, you know, for, I've seen Jin Hao's go for like five, six, seven dollars. Extremely affordable for the beginner. And you can find so many different types to use and experiment with. Um, so this is also a great fountain pen uh, for beginners. And I'm excited to start using this. I think I'm gonna use this during December. I'm gonna fill it with like a nice blue, gray color or something. This is my most expensive fountain pen in my collection. This is the, what is it? The Sailor Professional Gear Shiki Ori, Ori, Four Seasons Edition. I don't know how to pronounce it. Uh, it's the Haruzora color, I believe. And this only came in what was uh, the description uh, a fine medium, but to me it comes off as a very medium nib. So I don't find myself using this very often. Do I even have this inked up? 
Oh no, actually I don't. I gotta clean it out. So I won't be able to show you the pen, but it is one that you kind of have to twist the cap. Beautiful color, um, plastic. The uh, pen, I don't believe comes with a converter. So you do have to buy that separately. And what I um, decided to do was just keep the you know, ink cart the, the disposable ink cartridge that it came with, and I'm just gonna refill it with my own ink until I get a converter. But um, it writes pretty smoothly. It's just that it's a fine, finer nib than I would prefer. And uh, but beautiful pen, still writes very smoothly, a good size, and extremely lightweight. And then my next fountain pen is a Pilot Metropolitan One Point Stub Nib. So I don't know if you can see that. I love this. This actually has a, if I can undo it. Oh, I can't. I can't because I just put lotion on, which was probably not a good idea. This one actually has, um, the inside instead of a, a converter it has one where you can squeeze it and then it just fills with ink when you let go of it and do i have this one inked up yes i do and i love this pen it writes so smoothly i got it in the matte black um color i think it's just one of their like base designs but uh this is such a great one this is my first and only pilot um because i wanted to see kind of how one performs i've never owned a pilot before this and i'm very happy with my purchase and i use that quite often actually and then the last three are lamy safaris in medium nib i love these these are great beginner fountain pens extremely affordable they all come with a clip they're all plastic you can get them in so many different colors they always come out with limited edition colors and um i think when you buy one you get disposable you get like a pack of disposable cartridges um but you can buy converters for them and they're extremely lightweight they write so well they perform really well right off the bat when you fill them i think i have the pink no do i it's been a while since i've used my fountain pens let me see if this one's inked up no this one actually needs to be cleaned i'm pretty sure my blue one is inked up though so i have this one inked up right there and that's what a medium nib looks like. And honestly, the Lammies are pretty much one of my favorite fountain pens. Um, and that's it. That's my collection. It's very, to me, it's a good size. I've got somewhat of variety. I have different types that suit different needs for writing. And you know what? The lower end ones, the lower priced ones, actually are my favorite. I, Lamy's are probably my favorite out of all of these. I use the Lamy's and then I think my Eco Twisby and Pilot are my next favorite ones. More so than the higher end ones. The higher end ones for me are my Sailor, which cost the most money out of all of these fountain pens, and then my Kaveku Brass Lilliput. Um, yeah, so to me, this is kind of proof. Like, I don't need to spend that much money on nice fountain pens just because, honestly, just these simple designs, these particular, are my go-to ones. I reach for them the most. Um, so that's it. That's my small little collection of fountain pens. Uh, if you have any questions, let me know. I will try to link all of them down below. And thank you so much for watching.